Wellness Made Simple. I just thought I would jump on here and tell you a little bit about making soup. I'm going to be making soup this afternoon. And um, a lot of people are kind of intimidated about making soup. But I'm hoping that as I go into this a little bit, that you'll see that it's really no big deal and you can pretty much use whatever you have on hand. So I'm going to do a little tour of what I have on hand and then tell you how to make it. So very first step is to take some really good extra virgin olive oil. This happens to be what I have right now, but I've had different kinds in the past and you can use whatever you like. So you would put some olive oil in the bottom of a large pan, or I also have a large cast iron one porcelain coated that I use sometimes. You take some onions. These are from my own garden. These are Egyptian walking onions, so they're a little bit more work to peel, but wow, the flavor is amazing, and they just keep growing back. So you just take some onion, and you chop it up. You take the olive oil, put some a generous amount, maybe two, three tablespoons in the bottom of your big pan and however many onions that you want. And you just saute them until they get transparent. If you're also using garlic, I am. I have this garlic, these cloves that were roasted, and uh, oftentimes I will put them and I just uh, slice them up really small and put them in after the onion has already gotten translucent. As soon as the onion and the garlic are done, then I put in one to two quart size um, containers of broth. Now, I only use organic broth. Uh, today I have some that I bought. I also sometimes use some that I um, have made myself. Uh, always it's better to make it yourself, but mm, that's not always there. So then you put in one to two of those quarts of broth. And uh, you can also, of course, use uh, chicken broth, beef broth, turkey broth, and um, or stock. Broth is a little bit lighter. Stock is heavier. It's really up to your preference. And you uh, to that, you would add the things that are hard. So in my case, that would be my carrots from my yard in, my green beans from my yard in, um, my uh, pepper, some eggplant, these are all from my yard, and uh, some potatoes, and so forth. Uh, whatever is hard is going to take a little time to cook. And then you leave them in there until the, the uh, broth starts to bubble. You can leave the top on or leave it off. It'll take longer if you leave the top off. Once it starts to bubble, you turn it down to simmer, and you add your greens. In this case, I have beautiful carrot greens that were from my carrots. I also have some chard and some kale that's from my uh, late summer, early fall, into fall garden. Um, and uh, anything else that you might have. I'll also be adding some. This is um, roasted and mashed uh, squash. I had a couple of squashes that I grew this summer and we just roasted and mashed them so I'll be adding them and the nice thing about that is it, it adds a creaminess to the texture without having to add any dairy or non-dairy substitute type um, ads. So then after you add all of that you just let it simmer for until everything is tender. Sometimes that's another hour, sometimes it's a couple of hours, you can just try it for yourself. Um, when it's done, oh, later in the process if you'd like, you can also add some beans. I'm a type B blood type, so I usually add white beans or red kidney. But you can look for your blood type and see what beans are good for you if you want to add protein to your soup, but still allow it to be vegetarian. Um, or vegan. Anyway, so when you're at the very end and everything is tender, what I like to do is check for what kind of a taste I'm trying to achieve. In my case, I very often will add a, a drop of essential oil or two. Today I have pulled out, just uh, for starters, basil, cumin, lemon, 
and dill. I don't really know. Usually I wait until I see what, that's gonna, what, what the soup seems to be calling me to do. Uh, of course, Himalayan salt. I also have black pepper essential oil. You can certainly use um, cracked pepper yourself. And then um, depending on, these are very hot peppers that I grew. Depending on how hot you might or spicy you might want your soup to be, you can add them in, uh, chop them, dice them, get rid of the seeds, and put them in early on for more spice. Put them on very late in the process for just a little bit of, um, of heat. So that's basically it. That is the whole secret to vegetable soup. And uh, you can make it out of anything that you have in your in your fridge or in your yard. It will be so, so good for you. It will taste delicious. And you will really feel proud of yourself and your tummy will be very happy. So I hope this has been helpful. Please comment, subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.